Hey, how's it going everyone? It's me, it's Conchinsula, I hope you're having a good day, and welcome to today's Pokemon Go discussion video. Okay, so for today's video, I wanted to discuss the Catch Mastery event that we just had. This mini event featured Hitmontop, Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan, and Ty Rogue, and I do think it was actually a really good event. But I also think there were a couple of things that Niantic should improve on if they wanted to do a similar event again in the future. I'm going to be talking about all of this in today's video, so let's roll the intro and get right into it. Okay, let's talk about the Catch Mastery event. So, this mini event was actually something that I was actually looking forward to after it was announced. I'm a big fan of limited research days, and it seemed like this was going to be something similar, only with a couple of new twists. The way that the event went down is basically there was going to be a bunch of Hitmonlees and Hitmonchan spawning in the wild, and you could complete field research anytime special research line in order to collect Hitmon tops. And of course, if you were to hatch 7km eggs during this mini event, you would pick up Ty Rogues. Now, why is this significant? Well, apparently there was supposed to be some boosted shiny rates for both Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan, and then with Hitmon Top, it was going to be a perma boosted rate. For anyone who does not have any of these super rare shinies, this was a great opportunity for you to pick them up. Think of it as a limited research day featuring Hitmon Top, but it also had a whole bunch of bonus content related to Hitmon Lee, Hitmon Chan, and Ty Rogue. You know, something that I really believe in is that limited research days should be a monthly event just like community days. It's a great way for Niantic to introduce new moves and new shinies. They are incredible for getting players to go out and about and explore their areas. And in general, it is a nice activity for you to do if you have nothing going on. But when it comes to this Catch Mastery event, I actually had a lot of fun, and I really think Niantic did a lot of positive things. Like I mentioned before, they kind of put a new spin on the limited research format, and I really do think that some of the changes that they implemented are things they should try again in the future. Like for example, I really did like the fact that they gave you multiple avenues for collecting Hitmon Tops. Like, if you were in an area where there weren't too many Pokestops, well, there was a special research line that you could do instead. And if you didn't care about Hitmontop or completing any special research, well, you could still go out and hunt for shiny Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan, both of which are super rare shinies. And if you didn't want to do that, then you can hatch eggs for shiny Tyrogue. Basically, there was a lot of different options for gameplay over this event. This is something that I want to see more when it comes to limited research. Giving players a whole lot of different avenues for some special gameplay, I think that is a really good move, and it's something that Niantic should continue to do. I also like the fact that this was a single day event, and it lasted for a good amount of time. Typically, whenever Niantic has in-game events, they kind of lose their luster after the first day, so I really like the idea of them doing short bursts of micro-events as opposed to having one event that lasts for an entire week. Like, it doesn't have to be just limited research. Like, if they did this for community days, I think that would go over really well. There are a lot of times that players are unable to participate during a community day. You only have three hours to get the full gameplay, and even within that three hours, the gameplay can seem very mundane. But if they were to add special research storylines, and have a whole bunch of field research, and even some special ways for you to collect community day shinies, I think that is a good lesson that Niantic could take from this particular event. My point is that I really enjoyed the diversity of this particular event. If they were to continue to bring that into other events, I think it would be a really good thing for Pokemon Go. And another thing that I really enjoyed was that this was seemingly optional gameplay. There really isn't a lot of pressure to catch Hitmonlees and Hitmonchans. They're not going to be relevant for PvE or PvP, and in general, it's just more for collecting. There's something really chill about that. I mean, when it comes to like community days and even like special events like Pokemon Go Fest, sometimes there's a lot of pressure to catch 100% IVs and the like. If there's a certain Pokemon that's going to be extremely meta relevant for the Go Battle League or with raid battles, it's going to generate a lot of pressure and you can end up with a lot of disappointment. But with an event like this Catch Mastery event, there really is no room for disappointment because if you don't come out with a good IV or a good shiny, well, it's okay because it's more for collection purposes. So yeah, I think they did a good job with this Catch Mastery event, but of course, there were a couple of flaws that I do want to point out. 
The one thing that I really think was a disappointment was of course the shiny raid. Niantic made the implication that there would be a boosted shiny raid for Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee in the wild. A lot of players had the assumption that they would get the perma boosted rate of 1 in 64. But unfortunately, it was more closer to 1 in 250. So a lot of players went into this event expecting certain shinies, and what they ended up with was no shinies at all. Of course, with Hitmontop from Field Research Tasks, they actually did have a perma booster grade of 1 in 64, so it was actually something that you could obtain realistically. But I really think when it comes to certain things like this, Niantic just has to be transparent. Like, from the get-go, if they were to say what the shiny rate was going to be, then I think a lot of players could have curbed their expectations. The other issue that I had was, of course, involving Ty Rogue. That was a particular shiny that I really wanted, and yeah, it was kind of unrealistic because of the egg pool that was alongside it. I think based on the description of this particular event, a lot of people assumed that the 7km eggs that you would obtain during this event would only have Ty Rogues. But unfortunately, it was muddled with a lot of other junk Pokemon, so I think that was a huge disappointment. So yeah, this was a bit of an L, because it was kind of seen as a big cash grab, and it really was. If, like me, other players wanted Shiny Tyrogue, well, they would have probably had to have forked out a lot more money for more egg incubators in order to hatch even more eggs. And I kind of talked about this as a positive of this event, but I really do think that there should have been some kind of gameplay implication for catching either Hitmonchan, Hitmonlee, or Hitmontop. Maybe the addition of some sort of exclusive move that would push it into relevance. I really don't know what they could have done. There really was no motivation to catch any of these Pokemon, especially their shiny forms, outside of the collection aspect of it. For anyone that's a little bit more hardcore with their gameplay, they really need to have something that will motivate them to catch as many of these as they possibly could. I just think if Niantic were to iron out these little things and be more transparent in their descriptions of these sort of events, then they can go a lot better in the future. These are just the small levels of polish that Niantic needs to work on, but if they were to do that, I think these sort of events could be a great thing for Pokemon Go moving forward. But yeah, in spite of these flaws, I really enjoyed my time with this particular event, and I would like to see Niantic try them again in the future. Take it for what it is, this was a net positive for Pokemon Go. And yeah, in any case, that's going to be it for this video. Leave your thoughts down below what you thought about the Catch Mastery event. I'm almost 100% positive that not a lot of you are going to agree with some of my takes, so definitely share why in the comment section below, and let's have a great discussion. And if you ended up enjoying this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if it's your first time here, and don't forget that little bell so you can stay up to date on whenever I upload videos. And I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons on Patreon. You make this channel content possible. If you want to support my channel in any way, big or small, then be sure to check out the links in the description below. For all my patrons, they get a permanent spot on my in-game friends list. So if you want to interact with me in some way, like with remote raids, then do consider becoming a patron on my Patreon. But yeah, that's going to be it. I'm Count Jinsula. Be safe, have fun, love yourself, and I'll catch you all later.